Star trim, in the reference design, the exit is on the surface of a mounting peak of 6,000 meters altitude, where 8.78 km per second launch velocity at a 10 degree angle takes cargo capsules to low Earth orbit when combined with a small rocket burn providing 0.63 km per second for orbit circularization. Powell predicts a total expense, primarily hardware costs, of $43 per kilogram of payload with 35 ton payloads being launched 10 times a day as opposed to current rocket launch prices of $10,000 to $25,000 per kilogram to low Earth orbit. The estimated cost of electrical energy to reach the velocity of low Earth orbit is under $1 per kilogram of payload, 6 cents per kilowatt hour contemporary industrial electricity cost, 8.78 kilometers per second launch kinetic energy of 38.5 m per kilogram, and 87.5 of mass payload. The cost for the non-elevated majority of the tube's length is estimated to be several tens of millions of dollars per kilometer, proportionately a semi-similar expense per unit length to the tunneling portion of the former superconducting supercollider project of 5-meter diameter vacuum tunnel excavated for $2 billion or to some existing maglev train lines where Powell's maglev the designers estimate a construction cost for Generation 1 of $19 billion, becoming $67 billion for passenger-capable Generation 2. The alternative Generation 1.5 design, such as 4 km per second launch velocity, would be intermediate in velocity terms between Gen Minus 1's 8.8 .8 km per second and the Maglifter design launch assist in the case of a 50-ton vehicle. For needed electrical energy storage, SMIS cost performance on such unusual scale is anticipated of around $1 per kilojoule and $20 per copeak. For Maglifter, General Electric estimated in 1997-2000 that a set of hydroelectric flywheel pulse power generators could be manufactured for a cost equating to $5.40 per kin $27 per copeak. While the performance of niobium titanium superconductor is technically sufficient, uncertainties on economics include a far more optimistic assumption for Gen Minus 2 of 2 cents per kilometer of superconductor compared to the $2 per kilometer assumed for Gen Minus 1, 2 of 15, 4,483, 88.